members of various social services agencies, including National Family Services and the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Victims and Witness Support Unit, gathered for a workshop at the Radisson Hotel to collaborate on the development of a protocol document to guide the nation's critical incident response. Hosted by the Ministry of Gender, Youth and Child Development, Permanent Secretary Mrs. Sandra Jones defined the subject under discussion. Critical incident, as defined by the Critical Incident Analysis Group at the University of Virginia, is an event that has the potential for causing social trauma and undermining social trust, creating fear that may have impact on community life and even on the practice of democracy. Critical incidents can range from physical and sexual abuse, robbery, suicide, or natural disasters. Minister Clifton Dakota provided participants with statistics on critical incidents logged by Family Services from May 2013 to March 2014. For the period May 2013 to March 2014, the National Family Services Division recorded more than 9,000 interventions. These included 2,951 sessions of advice, information to phone calls, walk-ins, telephone requests, and referrals from agencies and other persons. 4,973 counseling sessions based on phone calls, walk-ins, telephone requests, and referrals from agencies and other persons. Minister commended those present for their efforts in treating with critical incidents and encouraged them to bring their experiences to bear on the development of the protocol. Today, we take a step in the development of a functional and cohesive networking system to facilitate efficient response to critical incidents as have been highlighted in the media. As workers on the ground, executing your duties within the communities you are well poised to provide the salient information to craft the required protocols for the national critical incident response, which would be implemented by responding agencies within the social sector. In closing, Minister Dakota reiterated their purpose and gave the assurance that their work would benefit the nation. This workshop is both a consultation and brainstorming session, which finds its strength in the collaborative effort among social service agencies and other relevant stakeholders in developing and implementing this network to identify, communicate and respond to highlighted critical incidents within a 24 hour working period. Ladies and gentlemen, in your deliberations, I know that consideration will be given to time, geographical and staffing parameters that are faced by all the participating organizations with a view to overcoming those challenges and surpassing the expectations of our clients. As you dialogue on developing the necessary protocols, I assure you that your contributions will be reflected in the final standardized response system and its attendant mechanism.